Almost three months into the war, Israel continues to pursue its objectives of undoing Hamas's military capabilities and freeing the hostages. Now Israel has announced plans to shift tactics and cut back on troop deployment, but fears of a regional conflagration persist and the killing of the Hamas deputy leader in Beirut has now raised the risk of the war in Gaza spreading. Here's a look at the war tactics and the road ahead. Experts say that Israel will need many more months to achieve its goal of eliminating Hamas group's ability to control Gaza and threaten Israel. Following a humanitarian pause and the release of more than 100 hostages, Israel has moved into its current, more intensive phase. It has expanded operations into South Gaza to weaken Hamas's military capabilities and target its leadership. Over the coming weeks, Israel expects to continue this intensive phase in the south alongside renewed diplomatic and military efforts to rescue the remaining hostages. According to the Washington Institute for Near East Policy, the end of this phase will not necessarily signal the end of the war. On Monday, Israel pulled tanks out of some Gaza city districts. Israeli officials say the military would draw down forces inside Gaza this month and shift to a months-long phase of more localized mopping up operations. The hints at a lower tempo in Gaza came as the U.S. Navy announced that the Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier was returning to its home port in Virginia. The warship was deployed to the eastern Mediterranean following the outbreak of war. The troop production would allow some reservists to return to civilian life and shore up Israel's war-battered economy. Artillery fire between Hezbollah and Israel has unsettled the border since the start of the Gaza conflict. At the same time, Houthi fighters in Yemen have attacked Red Sea shipping, drawing a U.S. military response. An Iranian warship recently sailed into the waterway. Israel's move to a new stage in the conflict comes after its initial bombardment and a ground invasion that began on October 27th. Air and artillery strikes have continued to pound the entire enclave during that time, leaving much of it in ruin. Having overrun most of northern Gaza, Israeli tanks and troops are still pushing into the center and parts of the south. Hamas is responding with guerrilla-style ambush from tunnels and bunkers in the enclave's narrow streets. Qatar and Egypt are seeking to negotiate a new truce and a hostages deal. Washington has said that Israel should allow a Palestinian government to control Gaza when the conflict is over. The UN, meanwhile, says that 2023 was the deadliest year on record for Palestinians in West Bank, with 307 killed since the war in Gaza began on October 7th.